Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I think it was George Bernard Shaw, uh, one of his lines uh, that was in Hampshire, Herefordshire and Hertfordshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen, or something similar to that in the mouth, in the mouth of Idolise Doolittle in Pygmalion. Uh, we haven't quite got Hampshire, Herefordshire and Hertfordshire in this uh, video, but we've got uh, Hampshire, Hampshire and Herefordshire um, with three English sparkling wines. And I've got a 2009, I've got a 2010, and I've got a yeah, non-vintage blend. So I'm going to start with my non-vintage blend, which is uh, Exton Park Brut, and Exton Park's one of those places that uh, calls their, um, their, their sparkling wine um, Britannia. Uh, in the style of, uh, spelt like, a finishing like champagne, but pronounced Britannia. Uh, let's just give it a whirl. Smells keen and clean, with a little bit of um, uh, green apple and, uh, and citrus fruit. Uh, I could probably say that with uh, quite a lot of English sparkling wines. What is it that uh, makes this one stand out? Does it stand out? It smells okay. It smells like it's, it's going to be perfectly decent um, and um, refreshing and honest, and uh, I'll give it a swig. What there is there, um, yes, there's those citrus and, uh, and apple in there, but there's something ever so slightly like stewed rhubarb. Uh, there is this tension between sweet and sour. Uh, they've got the dosage, so that little bit of sugar that they use to round out the acidity in such balance that it's more that perkiness that really comes through and um, keeps your mouth going, making you think that uh, maybe I wouldn't want uh, too much of it by itself, but if I had that uh, instead of a regular white wine with the, with the shellfish course, uh, I'd be very happy. Let's see whether I'm very happy with wine number two, uh, which is Jenkin Place Brut uh, 2010. Um, so this is another Hampshire one. The first one was Hampshire, wasn't it? Yeah, so first, to, first two are Hampshire. And um, let's give this one a whirl. Now this smells fuller, richer and nuttier. Uh, I don't know how old the average age is uh, for the Exton Park uh, Brute, uh, but here uh, maybe it was higher dosage, maybe it's more time on lees, but it seems to have picked up a little bit more nutty, fleshy character. Uh, less on those sharp, spiky edges that were in the first one, more on the broader, bready character. That's very nice. Yeah, it has got the crispness there. Um, uh, but it's this rounded, juicy, fleshy edge that uh, that really comes through strongly. I was talking about rhubarb in the first one. Uh, maybe a little bit of the rhubarb there, but more pineapple and fresh, uh, fresh pineapple. Not fresh pineapple that's been sitting in your fridge for too long, which you find after three weeks. Simon Wood slap wrist. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, when it's just cut and it's got uh, that, it makes you it makes the, the size of your tongue go. Um, the wine makes me, me do that. Uh, this is a fuller style than the first one. I was talking about having shellfish with the first one. I would put this up against something um, fleshier and the garlicky prawns and um, uh, yeah, long, uh, yeah, slow cooked monkfish. So it's, um, it's infused with garlic again. Garlic seems to feature a little bit too much in my tasting notes sometimes. Oh, I've got a little bit left, better finish that off. That's so tasty, really nice wine. Um, next one, um, and so this is 2009, Castlebrook, uh, and it's got chin chin on, uh, chin at, at double ends, ha 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 ha, um, and um, they're from the chin family who are in Ross on Wye in Herefordshire, uh, re-established vineyard 2004, and Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, let's give this one a whirl. Smells, um, after the previous one, the previous one was like this, this lovely big round rich doughy character. This seems um, what I call flatter. It doesn't feel like it's got the perkiness of the first one. It's got a bit of the flesh of the um, uh, of the Jenkin place, but maybe not uh, as interesting for interesting aromas. Let's see what the flavours are like. A little more developed there, um, and there's the uh, there's the sharp edge, there's, uh, there's the citrus and the, the green apple. Uh, there's also, um, which is something which I didn't notice as much in the first two, some of what I call the English hedgerow character, a little bit of the elderflower uh, going on in there. And um, it's good, but I think it's a, it, the Jenkin place um, not quite tramples over it, but it was, it, it was a hard act to follow that. Here, I'd certainly be very happy uh, sitting down and eating it. In terms, of, uh, in, in terms of weight, eating it, eating with it, um, in terms of weight, it sits between these two. Um, my favourite is the, is the Jenkin place. Um, and it's... 
I think I like the other two just as much as each other. They are uh, fine representatives of uh, English sparkling wine and I will be tucking into as much of them as I can, um, not as much of them as I can manage, but uh, as much of them as I can sensibly manage. That's a good qualification, isn't it? Anyway, see you soon.